Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. This week's channeled message is from Master Kutumi, and it's entitled Commencing the Creation of Your Channel. Channeled on the 17th of May 2019. It is my intention today to explain to you about channeling and to assist you in realizing your own channel and ability. During my communication, when I speak of the channel, I'm not referring to the person, rather the funnel of light that is their channel. To channel is not a new ability humanity has activated. In many respects, channeling is a natural and common ability that all have. Many people channel without realizing throughout their day. They may feel inspired to say certain things to people, which is what they needed to hear at that time to lead them into the correct path. People also channel books, music, art, healing, creative expressions without realizing because it is a natural and normal ability that they have had for such a long time. They do not even realize their ability as it feels familiar and easy to them. The Definition of a Channel Every person on the earth can channel, and most are channeling without realizing. This may be a very profound statement for some people to accept. In order to realize this, we must first understand the definition of a channel. To channel is to link into energy, or to build a connection that allows you to draw upon energies that may not presently be realized within your being. To channel is to connect to a well of consciousness that may be beyond your current reality on the earth. You must remember at this point that every person on the earth is linked to each other. We are all aspects of the Creator. Each person is then linked to soul groups, which are interlinked and are connected to the light of the Creator. Therefore, when we channel, we could say that we are establishing a connection with another aspect of our being or energy. When you connect with someone physically, you cannot truly feel or understand what they are experiencing in their own reality. When you connect with a consciousness or light being, you can truly feel their emotions, thoughts and energies existing within you. Interpreting these through your sensations. The anchoring of a channel. A channel is often described as a tunnel or funnel created from light that exists within a person's physical body. The funnel or light usually anchors into one of the person's chakras. It depends on the person's level of growth as to whether the funnel, which is narrower at the bottom and wider at the top, anchors into the crown chakra, third eye chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra or root chakra. The crown chakra is your link to the spiritual planes. 
your soul group and the Creator. A channel will always begin by anchoring into your crown chakra. When the channel is only anchored into the crown chakra, it can sometimes mean the channel is new or not yet fully developed. When the funnel of light anchors into the third eye chakra, this usually means the person will receive many visions through their channel and will use their channel to see into the spiritual worlds. This can sometimes mean the information pouring through the channel cannot always be physically expressed. This is a very powerful way to work if you wish to use your channel for your own personal guidance and growth solely. Sometimes when the channel is anchored into the third eye chakra, the mind can have a habit of influencing the energy or consciousness flowing into the person if discipline is not exercised. When the funnel of light anchors into the throat chakra, then expression of information or consciousness flowing through you is very easy. Wisdom, in this case, is the sole purpose of activating the channel or funnel of light. A channel that anchors into the heart chakra is often one that expresses immense love in every energy and consciousness that flows through. Many healers anchor their channels into their heart chakras in order to assist with their expression of energy. When the channel is anchored into the heart chakra, it symbolizes that everything is influenced by love and so the purity of the energy and words flowing are more prominent. Anchoring the channel into the solar plexus and sacral chakra is less common but can assist in the expression of emotions and creativity. When the channel is anchored into the root chakra, this can signify two things. Either the person brings forth energies and information that are focused within the physical reality and the earth, or that the channel has in fact anchored into all chakras and the physical body truly embodies the channel. This is the ultimate goal of anchoring a channel or funnel of light into your being. When the channel is anchored into all chakras, there is a seamless bond between the physical body, personality, mind and emotions and the channel. A person who has anchored their channel into their entire chakra column allows energies and wisdom to flow through with very little disruption or shift in the person's energy or appearance. It also means that all chakras are working to express the consciousness and energy flowing. There is a need for the channel to anchor into all chakras before anchoring into the root chakra and entire being. Creating a channel A channel or funnel of light can take a long time to be created as it is formed from the energy of the person synthesized with the light of their guides and the Creator. To create a strong channel, one must take time to ensure it is created with high vibrations of light and the correct intention. Time is needed to allow the person to adjust to the channel as the additional light can create many shifts in the person's energy. At the creation of the channel, it can be very small and thin. With time, it becomes thick, strong and expansive. 
A person will evolve through many stages of using and experiencing their channel, understanding how best they can express the light, love and consciousness they are connected to. We can imagine a channel as an antennae or an open vortex of energy. Your intentions will create the actual bridge of light that aids the connection. It is your intentions that determine which energy or source of light within the Creator's universe you connect your energies with. The channel is not necessarily the connection or link between you and a certain healing energy, consciousness, ascended master or angel. The channel is the means to connect, the means to embody and to filter energy into your being and reality. A channel is a tool of connection, expression and embodiment. The definition of channeling is to allow energy to flow through your being. This is also the way to build a channel. When we realize it is a simple connection, we see that many people channel or express energy throughout their day, often from an aspect of their own being. Some people can channel or express a negative consciousness of energy from themselves due to their focus or mood. This doesn't necessarily harm them. It simply means they express negative energy through their actions. A person can also channel or express a beautiful and positive energy or outlook from their own energy. Essence and Consciousness which allows them to succeed in their actions and experiences with ease. You naturally link into an aspect of your being, depending on your focus. You channel or express energy throughout the day, because channeling is transferring energy. This doesn't mean that the purest part of your soul is projected. When you begin to build a channel through the process of self-realization, through anchoring light and holding an intention of connection with higher, finer and quicker vibrations of light, you are achieving this to embody or realize a greater aspect of the Creator within you. It is a bridge of light that in many ways allows you to overcome the existence of separation and merge with other aspects of the Creator's soul. Separation causes such suffering on the earth and yet through the forming of a channel you can feel a strong bond and unity with all that is the Creator. Every person channels or transfers energy in a different way and expresses diverse energies. This is because of the vibration of consciousness they connect with and their own level of spiritual advancement. To transfer energy or to channel does not necessarily indicate you are a spiritual-based person. It is your actions, thoughts and intentions while you're not channeling or transferring energy that aids your spiritual growth. Many times we see on the earth that those who have created bridges of light and have manifested a channel forget to alter and transform their way of life in order to work alongside the, and intensify the power flowing through the channel. 
When a person remains focused on their physical reality, repeating habits of judgment, fear, and negativity, then the channel can become tainted and can lower in energy vibration. This means higher vibrations of light are unable to flow through the channel. In order to accept high vibrations of light through your channel, your funnel of light, your physical body and thoughts must also hold the equivalent or higher vibrations of light. With this understanding, we begin to see the channel or funnel of light is actually a support for light anchoring into the physical body and stabilizes the light so the body can cope with new energy vibrations entering into the consciousness and space. It is important not to see channeling as a way to achieve spiritual development, mastery or ascension because it is simply a tool of connection and anchoring light, which of course aids ascension, only to a certain level. Learning to channel or transfer energy is like learning to meditate. It is a foundation for further processes of growth and advancement. It is a way of connecting your energies with the Creator and deciphering the will of the Creator. Building a Channel There are four things that are needed in order to build a channel. There is a need to identify from the consciousness of your soul and your guides whether this is the correct time for you to begin to build a channel. Invoke your guides to surround you and to send their energy deep into your being. This will build a connection between you. Then ask your soul to step forward, assisting you in experiencing its unwavering loving presence. When you are ready, simply ask, It is my wish and desire to begin to build my channel so I may experience a deeper connection and bond with the Creator, existing as a channel and beacon of Creator's light on the earth. I ask my soul guides and the Creator, is it appropriate at this stage of my spiritual growth? to begin this work of building a channel. Then listen peacefully with the intention of openness and acceptance. You may gain your answer in a variety of ways, as a word or voice within your mind, as a feeling or emotion, as a vision or simply a knowingness. If you receive a yes, then you can continue, if you so desire. If you receive a no, then there is a need to respect this answer. To trust in your answer, even if it is not one that you desire, is the key. If you do receive a no, please understand, it is simply because of timing. You may need to experience the situation or energy in order to prepare you for manifesting your channel. You can also practice anchoring light into your body as a preparation for building your channel. There is a need to create an intention of using your channel for your highest good and to know that it will allow you to achieve a higher level of integration and connection with the Creator's soul. Many people wish to become channels or transfers of energy in order for fame 
to boost their ego or so that they can be recognized as an evolved spiritual being. This intention will not anchor a pure channel and may cause problems of integration or acceptance of the pure energies of the Creator. In order to manifest a pure channel, your intentions must also be focused and pure. This is something I, Master Katumi, cannot teach you. Your intention must come from the heart of your soul. I, Master Katumi, wish you to consider focusing on disciplining and mastering your mind to create only positive thoughts, bringing peace and balance to your entire being and connecting with your inner soul. It is important to remain happy, joyous and energized even when faced with a negative reality, allowing every aspect of your reality to be an opportunity of growth, mastery and self-realization. I, Master Katumi, encourage you to anchor light with the intention of boosting your energy vibration, developing your connection with the Creator and building your light. In many respects, it doesn't really make a difference which quality or vibration of light you anchor. Simply ask to anchor the most appropriate vibration of light for you. Overseen by my guide, soul and soul group, I invoke the most appropriate light, quality, consciousness and energy from the Creator's soul of the most suitable vibration for me to pour into my crown chakra and melt into my chakra column. I invoke the light of the Creator with the intention of increasing the volume of light within my body, aura and entire being, developing and building my connection with the Creator's loving presence and building my channel with ease from the purest vibration of light suitable for me. Assist me in experiencing and understanding the light of the Creator as it merges with my own energies. Thank you and let it be. You can ask for this several times a day as it will energize and cleanse your energies as well as support the building of your channel. These four steps are essential for the building of your channel. They may seem simple and in many cases obvious, however they are essential. With constant support, Master Kutumi.